DC Saturday night presented by Holiday Inn Express. Tonight, it's the Georgia Bulldogs, fresh off a win on the road against Notre Dame, trying to improve to 3-0 against the Bulldogs of Samford. One of the best entrances in college football, one of the best environments in college football. We welcome you inside Samford Stadium. You're coming off a huge win at Notre Dame. People excited about Georgia Bulldog football and what year number two of the Kirby Smart era might entail. Well, Kick you're right, Mike. Sales out of bounds as Hard Hardman watches it sail over his head. To the air on first down from looking. Pressure gets out of it. Scrambling for his life past the 25 and diving past the 30. A pickup of five yards on first down. Great job by Jake Fromm to avoid the rush game. And we'll get the rock here between the tackles. Powering ahead past the 35 and good for a first down. Seven yards. Not second and long. Pass caught in the flat, 35-40. And down to the 46-yard line, that is DeAndre Swift. Self-inflicted wounds, a lot of those last week against Notre Dame. On third and six, pretty clean pocket for Fromm. Pass caught out in the far flat. Looks like just a yard shot. The guy can make plays with the ball in his hand. Pass complete at the 35 and stopped immediately was McKnight. Went ahead and said, look, we really still want you here. Loved the intangibles, loved what he saw out of Jake Fromm, and boy, they're glad they've got him right now. On first down, a big alley on the left side for Nick Chubb. Already off to a good start this season, averaging 5.7 yards a carry. 20-yard scamper on first down, gets the rock again here, evades one tackler, busts outside, 45, cuts back, barging into Sanford territory, out to the 47-yard line, a nifty run. To make guys miss on the second level, he's off to a good start. He'll get a breather here in favor of the freshman Swift. And boy, do they love what he has. Explosion firing through the hole. The best athlete he's ever seen at the high school level. Pretty high praise. Here's Swift again. Look at that move. To the 25. And finally wrapped up just inside the 20-yard line. Some things you just can't teach, Barrett Jones. Georgia two for three on third down. Third and goal here. They go five wide from looking end zone. Caught was the inbounds. Yes. Touchdown, Nicole Hardman. Fantastic throw right here by Jake Fromm. Just put it exactly where he had to. Looks like Hardman got one foot in. Great awareness. Good drive. Let's we'll see if it's something Georgia can build on. 17 runs, two passes thus far. Fromm going to cock and fire here. Going for the deep ball. Over the shoulder catch. Inside the 35-yard line is Riley Ridley. The ball exactly where he wants to for the big game. Chubb busting outside. Chubb finds a lane down the far sideline. Touchdown, Georgia. 32 yards for the senior. Nick Chubb, they want to see him making plays like this. You see initially nothing's there, but Nick Chubb just does something you can't teach. Takes it outside, bounces it for a big play. Makes a guy miss, avoids that ankle tackle we were talking about. We saw some of that in the last couple of drives. We have not seen a whole lot of passing success for Hodges, and he almost throws a pick right there. In and out of the hands of 35, Aaron Davis. So quickly. Another third down, third and five. Blitz coming, passes incomplete. Threw it in traffic and really no chance there. Right down the teeth of that. Sanford defensive line and more of the same here. Another nine yards on the ground. Brian Harrion. Had an opportunity to build up a good rhythm. We see him drop back now. He makes the pass. But they'd like to keep that tempo up pace. But if you. Chubb again, weaving his way through tacklers and taking it down to the 40. Freshman started tonight. He weighs in at 336, and particularly at guard. That's where they want to get a lot bigger. That's Godwin. Godwin turning on the Jets at the 10. Godwin leaping over the goal line. Lost the football. They'll give him a touchdown. It'll likely be reviewed, but for the time being, Terry Godwin with a touchdown pass from Jake Fromm. Does a great job of throwing on the move. 
hitting Terry Goblin, and Terry Goblin does the rest. A fantastic player with the ball in his hands. Georgia has a lot of receivers. Either one of those teams going 3-0, particularly South Carolina. A little razzle-dazzle here on the opening play of the drive into the hands of Montrell Washington, who dives forward for a gain of five. Led by, obviously, the coach Chris Hatcher, who does call the plays. Again, keeping it on the ground, not that time. Georgia reading it and knifing in to make the tackle. Trenton Thompson, part of it. Devlin Buck Hodges here. Hand off. Yeah, not much doing there. With before at the University of Alabama. A great football coach. Pressure and down goes Hodges. Lorenzo Carter picking up where he left off last week in South Bend. Back on third and 18. Flushed out. It's Hodges to his right. Throwing end zone. Nobody there. With Lorenzo Carter on the hunt. Not going to be successful. 37-yard field goal from Weaver. It's blocked. His first career field goal attempt, and that kick had no chance. Now Georgia back on offense. It's been a while since we've seen the dogs on offense. And Brian Herrian, spark plug through the middle of that line, gobbles up eight. On second and three, running for his life. And that's probably going to be grounding unless there is anybody. Bobbled snap on the Wildcat. Satin will try and pounce on it. And it looks like Georgia's got it. Bulldogs do. 97, John Atkins comes out of the pile with the football. Haggard eye look. And Nick Chubb powers ahead past the 20. Down to the 19-yard line. I want to ask another question about the line after this play. On first down, it's Chubb again. Chubb, second effort, cutting back at the 10. He can see pay dirt. He's got it. Touchdown. 15 yards out for the senior. See, his offensive line gets in the first five yards, but Nick Chubb does all the rest right there, that cut. And that's a very... Tough thing to do is to see that vision almost not. Hand off. I don't think so. Pauk no. got blown up by Roquan Smith. In the game at tailback. They fake it to him. Fromm, pressure, takes the hit, fires downfield, and almost had his man. He took the shot. Chubb tonight and the other Georgia running backs. Fromm, missiles one complete there to the 36. And cutting outside is Godwin. Godwin with a convoy to the 10. And finally wrapped up at the 9-yard line. Got a downfield block by Nick Chubb. Quick snap. Caught by Godwin at the 10. One juke, two jukes, touchdown. Made that one look easy. With his most elusive receiver. Had one guy to make miss. And he did make a miss and scored a touchdown. That was, that was probably one of the favorite games I've ever played on. That was a lot of fun, that football game. That was a really good Georgia team. 32-28 was the final score. If they had won that game, a lot would be different here at Georgia right now. Uh, it, it's, it goes back to what I was just talking about with the Notre Dame game, how a simple play or two can change the outlook and the future of a lot of stuff as Hodges goes down on the sack. Bama, as you very well know, wound up winning it. Deep ball down the sideline, a 50-50 ball, and a great job in coverage broken up by Aaron Davis. Last week against Notre Dame was called back, a big kickoff return. He's got a first down here as he scampers for about five. Somebody waiting in the wings at the tailback position for the Georgia Bulldogs. And obviously a lot can change between now and then. But Kyle has had success in a number of different Stops along the way. Here's Swift for the first down. And when you mention now is when you pound the ball over and over, it really starts to wear on that defensive line, and those five-yard gains turn into 10 and 15-yard gains. The hand every rep for Jake Fromm is an important one. And his progression, look at that spin move. That's what we're talking about with DeAndre Swift. He's got an arsenal of moves that most tailbacks freshman or senior simply do not possess. Right here and watch this spin move. That is an elite spin move. I mean that, that is such a quick 
decisive move, spins to open space. Type of leader, his intangibles are off the chart. He's been a winner wherever he's been, no matter if it's baseball or football. A young five-star type quarterback like Jason Jacob Eason. It is a little harder to recruit recruit guys, so I understand that you're not itching to go. Uh, yeah. I, I can understand why the players would love it. We'll see what happens down the road with that rule. Brother Hudson now backup quarterback in the game. With right now, have it really rolling on both sides of the football. Dan Mullen, a coach in my mind that never gets enough credit. Coach, at the start of the week, you told us that you wanted your team to play a cleaner football game. You also said you wanted to see more consistency. How close did they come to reaching those expectations? Well, I'll reserve judgment until we watch a little bit of tape. I thought uh, we came out in the second half with good energy on offense, got a turnover on defense, which is what we challenged them to do at the half. So they responded, but it wasn't as clean as it needs to be. Now, how long, Coach, do you enjoy this one before you turn your attention to a Mississippi State team that just beat LSU 37-7? to Well, we got a 12-hour rule here, so it's a quick turnaround. We got to focus on getting better. They got a great program. I know Dan well, and it sounds like they had a big win tonight. We appreciate the time, Coach. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mike Morgan saying so long from Athens. For a complete wrap-up of the day in SEC football, head over to the SEC Network now for SEC Now.